Buying toys for your new puppy can be super overwhelming and actually frustrating at points. How do you even know that you're buying the right toys for your puppy? Today's video is all about helping you know which toys to buy, what would be best for their development, when to give it to them, and also what toys to avoid. Because believe it or not, there are a couple of toys that you want to make sure you don't give to your puppy. My name is Denise and welcome to the Dog Mom Diaries. So you're on your way to the shops, you get there and then you see there's thousands of different toys to choose from and you just want one or two to get for your puppy. Now this is how to know which ones to choose from. Firstly, let's understand that there are four different types of toys. Firstly, you get the plush toys. So the plush toys are squeaky, teddy bears, fluffy toys that you want to get for your puppy, especially considering that they are small, they are very young. So most people, including myself, made the mistake of buying mostly plush toys and only finding out later that there are four different kinds of toys and you make sure you have all four in your home somewhere. The second kinds are dental toys. So dental toys are really great for puppies growing their new teeth and they're going through that teething stage making sure that they have good strong healthy teeth as they grow. Now these dental toys can you also get from any kind of pet stores. You'll immediately see when you are dealing with the dental toy because you'll see all of the benefits of having this toy. Thirdly we have our interactive toys. So interactive toys are any toys that are meant stimulating for your puppy so you get amazing ones all sorts of kinds and I know you're probably thinking but I haven't seen of these kinds but as soon as you go online and you actually look for them you'll see that most shops actually have interactive toys lastly you have your chew toys so your chew toys are those tough ways that will help your puppy with teething stages and help keep them busy for longer periods of time so that they can get all of those teething habits out of the way before coming to you for love. But you know, that's easier said than done because we all know how puppies can teeth and when they are in the mood to bite, then there's nothing stopping them. So that's why you also need chew toys. So let's talk about when to give these toys to your puppy. Firstly, plush toys. Plush toys are amazing for those late nights where they really need someone to cuddle with. These plush toys can really serve the purpose of giving that comfort to your puppy. So you want to ensure to give those toys to your puppy when they're not in a very tough, playful mood where they're going to chew everything up. Secondly, dental toys. So the dental toys are really great for those times where your puppy is biting and it is in a biting mood because you know when you wake up, you know, they had a good amount of sleep. Now they have a lot of energy and they just start biting every Thing. This might also be when they are hungry, but from my experience, after I feed my puppy, I also know that he is in a very playful state. And as soon as you see them chewing on furniture or anything like that, instead of scolding them, use positive reinforcement and actually redirect them to a nice dental toy or a chew toy. Then with the interactive toys, these are best for when they are done with exercising, after you took them for a walk or after they played a little bit tug and war. If you have a food driven puppy, the interactive toys are great at any point in time. The last one, chew toys. With chew toys, you also want to make sure that they are going through that really good teething stage during the day and they are really biting. That's when you give them the chew toys. Chew toys are also fine to leave in your crate. If you do crate training, those toys are fine to leave in the crate when you are going to bed because that will also help keep them busy if they wake up and they need something to chew on. Let's get into what toys to avoid. Two sorts of toys that that you really want to avoid firstly nyla bones it's just been proven to be very dangerous to dogs and the ingredients that they put into nyla bones are actually very very dangerous and can be very harmful to your new puppy so now just a disclaimer that i am not a professional i am just a very enthusiastic poor mom and i love to do research on what is good for my puppy and i love to share it with you guys secondly toys that you want to avoid is any kind of toy that is too small for your puppy i know that these puppies are, you know, quite young and we might always go for the tiniest toy, but these can be choking hazards. So make sure that you guys always buy a size bigger. And this is worth referring to things like Kongs. And we want to be able to leave our puppy and know that they're going to be safe and chew on something that is not going to be harmful to them. So that is it for today's video, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe, put your notifications on as well so that you know every single time that I put up a new video. If you guys have any suggestions, 
suggestions, please leave a comment. I always love hearing from you. Have an amazing day and we'll chat soon.